Hi everyone, it is almost spring and I'm sharing 5 tips for this time of the year that makes my gardening life easier. Tip number 1 is DIY budget friendly cloches. I grabbed these office wire baskets from Dollar Tree. These are useful throughout the year and I will show you how. At the beginning of spring, temperatures could fall down. So you can just cover these with a plastic bag that is either transparent or white in color. Then put the basket in it, maybe make a couple of holes here and there and put it upside down in your seedlings or plants. Use two garden staples to hold it in place. Once the temperatures rise, just remove the plastic but still use the basket to protect young plants from critters. We have a lot of bunnies and they destroy anything that is not protected. So these baskets keep my seedlings safe until they are big enough. Once plants are big, they are not as soft and as appetizing to bunnies, so they leave them alone. Tip number two is about seed packets. This is something so small, but makes such a difference. So for me, it is necessary that all the seeds will be used in one season. So even after using seeds from a packet, I have many left. I was in the habit of tearing the seed packets from the top and then next year I would struggle to find details like the variety name or their growth habit at the back of the seed packet because I tore that off. So I made a practice to tear them from the other side. I would shake the seed packet to move all seeds at the other end and then tear it. This way I will have all information intact on the packet. Tip number three is also about seed saving. These peas here are grown from seeds that I saved last year. So once I had my seed pods dried up, I used the same seed packet that I had and saved my seed inside it. It may not seem like a big deal, but when you are trying to save a lot of seeds, it is important to categorize them correctly and using the old seed packets really helps. No need to label anything. Simply slip them in and you have the information about that variety on the seed packet. So once you run out of seeds and if you are interested in saving your own seeds for the same variety, don't throw the seed packet away. Tip number four is if squirrels are your nemesis. I am kidding, but you can see they dig through all my containers like crazy, especially in spring. Keep an inexpensive window storm shield like this one. You can get them for $1 at Restore. And once you have something planted in your container or even in ground, just put this on top. It would allow water and light to pass through and keep squirrels from digging. I have these containers here with onion sets, lovet seeds and leek and they are all protected. A cold frame works very well too. I made this one for just $17 and it's coming very handy. I will put a link to that video in description so check it out after this video. Tip number 5 is about onion sets. So with spring around the corner, I start craving the flavors of fresh veggies. A good way to get harvest sooner is to use some of the onion sets for getting green onions. So in this container, I'm planting onion sets, but they are very close to each other. This is because I want those leaves as harvest and not the bulbs. These will start producing much sooner than if I would start spring onions from seeds. In fact, I have a video full of tips on how to get spring harvest sooner in the beginning of the season. I will link it here and in the description for you to check it out. Thanks for watching.